Believe that you will succeed. And you will. You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Success is getting what you want. Happiness is wanting what you get. The only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. You can conquer almost any fear if you will only make up your mind to do so. For remember, fear doesn't exist anywhere except in the mind. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Remember, Today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. Happiness doesn't depend on any external conditions. It is governed by our mental attitude. The successful man will profit from his mistakes and try again in a different way. Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Any fool can criticize, condemn, and complain, but it takes character and self-control to be understanding and forgiving. develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. You have it easily in your power to increase the sum total of this world's happiness now. How? By giving a few words of sincere appreciation to someone who is lonely or discouraged. When dealing with people, remember you are not dealing with creatures of logic, but creatures of emotion. Feeling sorry for yourself and your present condition is not only a waste of energy, but the worst habit you could possibly have. The royal road to a man's heart is to talk to him about the things he treasures most. The ideas I stand for are not mine. I borrowed them from Socrates. I swiped them from Chesterfield. I stole them from Jesus. And I put them in a book. If you don't like their rules, whose would you use? Remember, happiness doesn't depend upon who you are or what you have. It depends solely upon what you think. Do the hard jobs first. The easy jobs will take care of themselves. Our fatigue is often caused not by work but by worry, frustration, and resentment. It isn't what you have, or who you are, or where you are, or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It's what you think about. You never achieve real success unless you like what you are doing. Act as if you were already happy, and that will tend to make you happy. 
One of the most tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. We are all dreaming of some magical rose garden over the horizon instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows today. If you want to gather honey, don't kick over the beehive. Criticism is dangerous because it wounds a person's precious pride, hurts their sense of importance, and arouses resentment. Instead of condemning people, let's try to understand them. Let's try to figure out why they do what they do. A person's name is, to that person, the sweetest sound in any language. Talk to someone about themselves, and they'll listen for hours. Be hearty in your approbation and lavish in your praise. There are four ways, and only four ways, in which we have contact with the world. We are evaluated and classified by these four contacts what we do, how we look, what we say, and how we say it. The expression one wears on one's face is far more important than the clothes one wears on one's back. A man convinced against his will is of the same opinion still. The person who seeks all their applause from outside has their happiness in another's keeping. If you want to win friends, make it a point to remember them. If you remember my name, you pay me a subtle compliment. You indicate that I have made an impression on you. Remember my name and you add to my feeling of importance. Everybody in the world is seeking happiness and there is one sure way to find it. That is by controlling your thoughts. First ask yourself what is the worst that can happen. Then prepare to accept it. Then proceed to improve on the worst. Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. Tell the audience what you're going to say. Say it then, tell them what you've said. If you can't sleep, then get up and do something instead of lying there worrying. It's the worry that gets you, not the lack of sleep. The difference between appreciation and flattery? That is simple. One is sincere and the other insincere. One comes from the heart out, the other from the teeth out. One is unselfish, the other selfish. One is universally admired, the other universally condemned. 